Hey guys and welcome back to a new favorites video. I know I'm a bit late, but you guys know that my motto in life is better late than never. And I really did want to get my past two videos up right away and not leave those waiting. Because my favorites are still my favorites even though they could be out a week earlier. So I don't have a ton of beauty favorites. Um, but I do have quite a few like fashion lifestyle favorites, lifestyle favorites, and I actually have um, four movie favorites. I know I usually talk about at least one TV series, um, but this month has been all about movies, and I cannot wait to tell you guys about that. Um, but before we want to get into my beauty favorites, I want to tell you guys about my number one favorite, hands down. It's our new home, obviously. And, uh, there's still a lot to do, but I'm almost done. Hopefully the bedroom will look cute very soon, or at least better than this sad white mess. There's still like mess, mess in the background. First beauty favorite um, is this, my hair. I know it's kind of a whole big mess, but that's kind of the thing. So all this month, like seriously every day, I've been wearing this, a bun just right on the top of my head, just all messy, but who cares? It is so easy, so effortless, and it keeps my hair away for when I'm doing stuff, for when I'm unpacking, for when I'm running after my son, and then now that summer is finally here for when it's super hot, because I have a lot of hair like this. It's all real, like all natural, no extensions, no nothing. So that has been one of my favorites. I may look like a fool, but seriously guys, I do not care. But I'm just done. I think I look kind of good. But moving into my favorite beauty products, because that is what is exciting, right? And I have three makeup favorites. The first one, you're not going to be surprised by, it's my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, my Sculpt and Highlight Little Palette. And it's kind of dusty. So when I hauled this a little while back in my net a -Pote haul, I wasn't like super impressed at first, but the reason that I really like it is part of the reason why I wasn't super impressed, and that is because it is pretty darn natural, and also it's pretty easy to work with, and it is gorge. I'm wearing the highlight today, not the sculpt side. I'll show you in a second what I've been using to sculpt today, because that's another favorite. And as you can see, the highlight isn't crazy, but it's pretty nice and natural, and I think that this is just something that will most people would like. It's not a crazy highlight, it's not a crazy sculpt side, and it is super easy to work with, and I just really, really like it. And what I've been using for my little sculpt today, along with my um, Chanel Tan de Soleil, I've been using this beautiful thing from Girl On. I'm itching, guys, I'm sorry, it's my allergies. Um, it has been the Terracotta Four Seasons Tailor Made Bronzing Powder. I have it in the color 00 Nude, which I'm not even sure is available worldwide. Um, but I really hope it is because uh, this is just so gorge. And so this is the palest one, and this has a little bit of a pink one in as well. So in a pinch. Totally use that as a blush, and then, I don't know, I really like it. The, the bronze is natural, it it's probably has like tiny flecks of shimmer in, yep, but it's not sparkly in any way, it is natural, it is glowy, but not shimmery, not crazy, and I think anyone could wear this, and of course, it is super smooth and creamy and just ugh, so nice, which is what you would expect from Galan. And I, this has been on my wish list for ages until I finally bought it. And it's been a while since I bought it, but I've loved it ever since. And it was time to put it in a favorites. And I've been using it a lot this month. And then last makeup favorite is my new MAC mascara. It is the False Lashes Extreme black and it's got a cute little tube. I just hauled this and I'm not gonna say that it's like a crazy false lashes look but it is a beautiful mascara. It does give a little bit of 
extra volume, it's not clumpy, um, and it's not like too separated where it wouldn't give volume effect, but it's not like super volumizing. And this is what the brush looks like. It's kind of small, but I like it. It gets like in the corner of your eyes. And I don't know, I've just been liking it. Um, be warned that this is as far from waterproof as physically possible, basically. I think there's a waterproof proof one of this as well, but I've just really been liking it. It's I think it's one of the more expensive MAC mascaras, but I definitely think it's up there. It's good. I really like it. And then two body products that kind of go together, actually. One that I, I've been loving for, I think I've been using this for like a month and a half. It is my Frank Body Scrub. This is the original one. I really want to try, I think it's the orange one. Next. Because I've been loving this and it is getting repurchased. So, uh, this is a coffee scrub. I don't know if you've heard about this. I heard about it on YouTube first. Um, it is this coffee scrub. It smells like coffee you, when you put it on your skin and it kind of like the water, like I do it in shower, I turn on the shower and then I do this. Then when it kind of starts running, it looks like coffee. And I don't even like coffee, but I love this. I don't know if you can see what it looks like. It just looks like coffee grounds. But it's good. It is good. And it's not that expensive. I think it was 15 euros and then free delivery. It feels good. It, it, it's actually a bit moisturizing. It smells good when you're there. And it just leaves my skin really, really nice. And plus like 15 euros for this thing. I think that's a bargain. I really, really like it. Um, I have to say though, it is so messy. I do it inside, like I close the doors for the shower and still there is everything. Like I have to hose down the walls afterwards because it's a big mess. So leave it, do, apply it somewhere. It is easy for you to wash afterwards. And then this second pro body product, which goes very well together with that one, is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. So this is an express bronzer, obviously. You can leave it for one hour for a light tan, two hours for a medium tan, three hours for a dark tan. I will not say that those three hours are like very dark. I would call that like a medium tan. Um, but first of all, I really like the fact that you do not have to go to bed with it. I hate going to bed with my fake tan because um, I do really like the scent tan. Tans, we have to go to bed with them uh, or g walk around all day smelling like fake tan, which is nasty. And then if you go to bed, you're probably going to get like some marks or something. I like that you can do this super quick. And even after one hour, there's like, there's a bit of a tan there. Not like, I won't do it for one hour again unless I'm in a super rush, but I really like it. Um, it is a mousse. It goes on so so evenly, no streaking, and also it fades away really nicely. And all in all, I wish it was darker. If it if it got a little bit darker, this would be honestly got the perfect tan. But it is pretty darn close, and I think it's it's pretty foolproof. Um, I do use it with a mitt, though. I highly recommend getting a mitt. So let's get into non-beauty favorites, and I have three that could be fashion favorites, could be lifestyle favorites. And then have one actual fashion favorite, clothing favorite. I don't even know. But first up, I want to talk about not one, but two pairs of sunglasses that I've been obsessed with. And the first one, I've actually been meaning to put in a favorites video for I don't even know how long. I've had them since November. I got them half off because there was a new mall opening in town and they had half off. Um, at the opticians and I got these and I could not be happier even if I had paid full price of that for them seriously Because I'm obsessed. They are so cool and I finally remembered to put them in my favorites and Well, it's summer so it totally fits but honest honestly guys I can wear sunglasses year-round. I don't care I'm really sensitive to the Sun and I don't want to get um, too many lines under my eyes because when you walk around like this that's going to turn into lines in your 20s. So my first sunglass favorites are these sunnies. Oh, I kind of hate that word, honestly, though. Sunnies. 
sunglasses. They are from Celine. I'm pretty sure that these are the new Audrey. There is also the like main Audrey. I think those are rounder. And then there are the baby Audrey, which I think have a bigger frame and then smaller um, glasses. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I have these in like a brown tortoise, which is gorgeous, very flattering for basically any skin tone and hair type, but especially me that's pale and ginger, and I hope I look as cool as I feel because I am obsessed. I love these to death, easily my favorite sunglasses of life. I just feel, I feel cool, but I feel kind of glam as well because they're really big, and I just think they work with basically any outfit that I have. Um, they're not super expensive actually for designer sunglasses. I think they are the cheapest designer sunglasses that I have, like considering the full price. I cannot recommend these more and they are, like they feel really good and really sturdy and I just know that I will be wearing these for I don't even know how many years. If I lost them right now, I would go like seriously just get my handbag and walk and get a new pair. But I have another pair that are super different, but I've been loving. But these are brand new. They are these beautiful Ray-Ban Aviators with the mirrored blue um, lenses. And I love these for several reasons. Oh, let me just look in the mirror because yes, they look good. I, I, I don't think they work as well with this hairstyle, but whatever. I have just been loving these for the past few weeks since I got them. I've been obsessed. I've been wearing them more than my Celine's. Um, one of the reasons that I really like this is the shape. I get it. They cover so much of your face. And I'm taking driving lessons right now, and these are easily my favorite glasses to drive in because they basically cover everything. You're not going to get any sun in right here. And then second of all, oh my god, look how cool they are. Like, blue mirrored? Ah! Um, they come in several different col colors. Um, I really like the green as well. I really wish they would come in pink. I will get them in pink as well as these blue ones. Blue ones. I think they're kind of glam, but they're mostly cool. I was kind of on the fence about getting these because I'm a mom and I'm kind of like frumpy at times. I'm not like cool you guys know but I feel really cool when I'm wearing these then two of my other favorites one of them is this that has been on my wish list for ages if you follow me on Pinterest you totally should because I'm all about the wish list I have a thing for wish list I'll link it below link it below but I finally got this Longchamp Le Pliage um this is the large tote it has the large handles I got it in this beautiful green color finally and I just love this. It is inhumanely practical. It is like crazy practical. And it is a nylon fabric and it's kind of kind of like rubbery. It's probably like silicone inside. And it is sturdy and you can fit so much in this and it still feels really comfortable on your shoulder. It, especially if you're a mom like this, you guys, you need to get this in your life. It is kind of expensive, but easily worth it. It works as a beach bag. It is will be amazing for travel. I'm going to bring this when we are traveling. And you guys, well you guys know that it folds together and it's like this size. And you can just like, especially if traveling, if you're like me, you shop a lot in the duty free, put this in your like regular carry on and then when you shop, open it up and then bam, it's so much easier than bring, like carrying um, plastic bags. So I love that. The only thing though, I like, I love this green. It is gorge. I think it's gorge for me. Um, but look, I've had it for two weeks, I think. And like already it's getting a little bit dirty and I've tried to be really careful with it. But like dirt just sticks to it. If I were like, I'll probably get another one because it's so practical. Um, I'm gonna get a darker color. I think I'm gonna get like dark blue. It's kind of boring, but the dirt one show. So think about that if you're getting one. Like, ugh, it's so gorgeous. I never really want to get a pink one, but I don't like it when it's dirty. So that's like a little bit of 
little minus, but still, like, still worth it. Um, so practical. So practical that it is worth it. I can't believe I never got one before now. Then my other other favorite, I don't think I've ever had clothing favorites in a favorites video before, but it is this. I've been obsessed with this sweater. It is from Wild Fox, and it says Barbie, and it's bright pink, and I love it. Um, I got this from Shop Up. If it's still available, I'll link it down below for you guys. And I just love it. I love Barbie. I love, love, love Barbie. And I don't know. I just had to get this. It is so perfect for when you're just being slouchy. Honestly, I just wear this and then black leggings and then some pink and white sneakers. And I'm like, yes, I'm bringing slouchy, trashy, semi-glam and I feel awesome wearing this. And the only thing I would say though, like I've never tried Wild, Wild Fox before so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, it does feel a little bit overpriced. The quality compared to what this cost, um, not like mind-blowing. And I'm hoping like, because you can see it's kind of like, it looks kind of worn. I've only had it for like two weeks. I hope this is kind of the point. I do kind of like it. it looks like this sweater was from the 80s. Um, but I did also get a t-shirt at the same time and like I like it but it's definitely a bit overpriced with Wild Fox but then it still made it into my favorites obviously because I love that sweater I've been wearing it like crazy like too much too much and then I think that's it for like things I got my list here my file effects I have four movies to tell you guys about um, it has been the month of movies, and I, like, movies is, are, movies are, I think, yeah, movies are my number one passion, like, uh, over fashion, over makeup, movies is, like, my number one, and I'm, I work at a movie theater, so you guys may know that, and just, I don't know, I just, in the whole moving, the whole stressful thing, I think it is important to just find some time and relax. And I feel like, especially when there's moving and um, the things that are stressing me out, I can see everywhere I go in our, in our house. Um, I think it's much easier to relax if you actually leave the house. And going to the movies, like, I like going to the movies alone because then I don't feel like I have to talk to someone. I'm, I'm the person that's on, like talks a little bit during movies. Um, so I've been going to the movie theaters. And first favorite, Tomorrowland. I know it didn't get crazy reviews, but I really, really liked it. I thought the story was original. There were some really cool movie effects, uh, well, like visual effects in it. Like, I really like that. Um, second, Entourage. Now this wasn't an amazing movie, but I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of Entourage. Of course I had to see the movie. I totally loved it. The movie doesn't feel like a movie. It feels like a very long episode. That's not bad. It's not good. Like, I don't almost honestly don't really see it as a movie. Um, I love Entourage. I love that movie. But you don't have to go and watch it in the theater. You can totally wait until you can see it on your computer or TV, whatever. If you want to save a buck, um, third movie, which is out on Blu-ray, so it's not in theaters, it is Interstellar. I finally got to watch it. Um, the good thing about working in a movie theater, if you miss a movie, like, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but some movies, or if you've, if you've thought about it, some movies are just meant to be watched in a movie theater. And Interstellar is one of those. That movie was not made to be watched on your television. So one of the good things about working in a movie theater, if you for if you don't like catch something in theaters, like I did not with Interstellar, I bought it on Blu-ray and I watched it not, not at work, but when there wasn't any movie showing, and that's pretty darn cool. And I loved Interstellar. It is just an epic film. Uh, you just have to watch it. So cool, effects are great. Um, it's Christopher Nolan that made, made it. The acting is good. I'm not a huge Matthew McConaughey fan, but I kind of forgot about that when I was watching it. I just 
recommend it so 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 much and then the last movie which was easily my favorite of the bunch Jurassic World um, Jurassic Park is my all-time favorite movie I loved it I was in the first screening that was in my town I was there it was so much fun because everyone there were as big a fans as me which is almost which is always fun you know just kind of everyone there appreciates it as much I don't think Jurassic Park is the best movie ever and Jurassic World was definitely not the best movie ever but it was so cool and um, I just loved it. Um, spoiler alert right here. The story is basically the same as the first movie. It's pretty darn similar. But the visual effects, mind-blowing. Chris Pratt, gorge. Um, so cool. I need to go watch it in the movie theaters again. That is definitely one that you want to watch in theaters. Watch it in 2D. Um, I'm pretty sure that was filmed in 2D and not 3D. And so do that. <sighs> Loved Jurassic World. Seriously? Like me and the dinosaurs? We are like this. Well, not really because they always want to kill you. But... Does that make sense? So that is it, I think. Like, I've been talking, this is probably an eternal video. But it is time to round off, as you can, like, that was a lot of favorites. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video still. I hope you guys are, like, surviving. I've been doing so many long videos lately. I hope, I hope it's okay. I'll try to rein myself in for future videos. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you're gonna give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I also hope that you want to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. And I will see you guys soon. I hope you're having a great summer. Bye!